Mary! <coughs> Mary! <sighs> I was only dreaming. Hi, Mary. <coughs> you are? An angel sent by God, sent here just for you. So rejoice, highly favored one, for I have a message to tell, so wonderfully true. Rejoice? Favored one? Oh dear, where are my socks and shoes? Don't be afraid, Mary, for I bring you good news. For the Most High is giving you a son, a hope for all mankind to choose. A baby? But how can this be? I have no husband, no man beside me. The Holy Spirit will do this good work, and in a moment, you will with a child be. All things are possible with God, even when you cannot see. Then let it be done to me, my Lord's maid servant, a vessel to be used freely. Meanwhile, Joseph, a just man, a man who loved Mary so, heard the news and wondered which way he should go. A baby. <sighs> what are we going to do, Bartholomew? Joseph! Joseph! Hello? Is someone there? Ah! I, I mean, Lord! Lord! Your servant is here. Hi, Joseph. Joseph, do not be afraid of taking Mary as your wife. For the baby inside of her will save his people and give eternal life. And his name will be Jesus. I'm your servant, a humble carpenter. Do unto me as my Lord desires. Whoa, that was a dream? Whoa, I'm going to be a dad. So Joseph and Mary were married, beginning their great journey together, and to Bethlehem, the city of David, to be counted by the Roman Empire. And though the journey was perilous, Mary sang as she went. My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit in God, my Savior, takes flight. For God has chosen me as servant to reveal his power and might. God has helped his servant Israel and brought low the rich and unjust. In remembrance of Abraham and his seed, he hath given his people so much. <laughs> Let them come. Hey, my daughter, you a little help? Get him, get him. Kick him, Bartholomew, kick him. We did it. So Joseph and Mary continued on to be counted by Caesar's decree, filled with the Holy Spirit, with God's purpose, and with God's plan to save mankind and to give life eternally. <laughs>